there's 233 independent nations on the earth. Out of the 233 independent nations, black people at $1.3 trillion are the eighth richest nation in the world. Yet, we don't have anything in our community that we can call our own. So by the simple fact that we're the eighth richest nation on the earth and we don't have our own educational system, don't feed ourselves, grow our own food, is a sign that we got dollars, but we need some sense. So I said we blame the white man for 95% of our problems, but we still spend 97% of our money with them. We do have $1.3 trillion in money. That's income though, and that's not wealth. So when the math is calculated, black people only possess less than 2% of the wealth of the United States of America. Income and wealth are two different concepts. Income is the money you earn by exchange of your time or the sale of a good product or service, but wealth is when you exchange that money for something that either keeps value or increases in value over time. Black people, we are the leaders in unnecessary spending. We buy stuff we don't need from people that we don't like to impress people we don't know. And at the end of the math of the equation, we end up having nothing but a whole bunch of name brand stuff, but never businesses that we can pass down to our children or real estate that increases or keeps its value over time. So we've got income, but we don't have the wealth. That's why I said we've got dollars, but we need some cents. Out of that $1.3 trillion, do you know that we spend $23 billion a year on clothes, $11 billion a year on furniture, $3.2 billion on keeping up with the latest cell phone that came out, $46 billion on cars, $60 billion on legal and illegal drugs, $32 billion dressing up the outside of our head. But when it comes to dressing up the inside of our mind, which is the purchase of books, only $300 million is purchased in books. My people are destroyed from a lack of knowledge. So we should be investing more in the building up of the mind and building up of our character, getting the sense that we need to go with those dollars so that when we marry our wealth with some wisdom, we can actually leave something behind for our children and our children's children they can call their own.